This is Unwind Your Mind Back to God, written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue with the transfer of training in Book 3. In Chapter 2, this is Section 6. Lucid Dream Realization One Mind Dreaming Friend, the scenario starts with the ever-present question here. One mind dreaming or six billion scheming? I put this in a hypothetical context and ask that you take a moment to imagine that only one mind exists and that is all that exists in all of existence. Place yourself in bed right before you sleep. As you leave the world and your body and all that is in your mind, you have a clean slate upon which you can draw whatever it is that you desire. Now you fall asleep and you have this dream of the zany antics of the six friends. Monica, Ross, Joey, Phoebe, Rachel and Chandler. Now, there are two ways to have this dream. One is just as an observer, where you are watching these people, like on a TV show. With this type of dream, waking up is like turning the TV off. In another type of dream... You actually identify yourself as one of the characters in this scenario. It really does not matter which character you identify with. So, in tonight's dream, the six friends go to visit the Swami of Pastrami to learn meditation and find their true self. Which we know is really you who is dreaming this particular dream. Suddenly, Ross becomes enlightened through a perfect remembering of his source. He realizes he is not Ross, but the mind dreaming of Ross. You. Now, do we say that Ross has awakened? No, of course not. Ross was not sleeping, and even enlightened Ross is a dream figure. And even though Ross is enlightened, the dream continues. It continues with enlightened Ross replacing Dilrod Ross. <laughs> Nobody has awakened, for the only anybody in this scenario is you. And you are still dreaming about an enlightened Ross and friends. <laughs> so you see, even enlightened masters are part of the dream. David Bingo! There is one dreamer, observer, witness. This is the perspective of forgiveness that happily sees a forgiven world. For causation has been returned to mind and images are seen as unreal effects of an unreal cause. The ego was not a real cause and had no real effects. This happy dream is a waking dream, for though it is an illusion as well, it leads out of illusions to mind awake. The ego was the belief in private minds with private thoughts, the belief in individuality in being a person. In the lucid dream, the perspective of the Holy Spirit in which the dreamer has awareness of dreaming, the dream is seen as a whole. There are no differences, levels or distinctions in a whole dream and conflict is therefore impossible. The whole dream is peaceful for it reflects the waking state of reality. Mind awakens, dream figures do not. Atonement sees no differences, for there are none. Atonement is the recognition that the separation never happened. 
Ideas leave not their source. Just as Christ never left the mind of God, the dreamer of the dream never left the right-mindedness of the Holy Spirit. It is therefore impossible to be a dream figure in someone else's dream. For there is only one mind asleep and this dreamer is happily sharing the Holy Spirit's perspective. Eureka! Forgiving dreams have little need to last. They are not made to separate the mind from what it thinks. They do not seek to prove the dream is being dreamed by someone else. Text chapter 29, section 9.